In this video, we will talk about dynamic loader and linker, how it finds a functional runtime, but this time we'll be using a assembly code, right? So let's go ahead and uh, get started. So this is the function that we have, all right? And uh, let's see where that will work here, okay? So I'm going to debugger db, dbg. I'm going to put a break at line number four, break line number five, and uh, I'm going to put runtime. So it's going to stop at the printf. I'm going to disassemble the assembly code main. So it's right here. It's going to call your printf slowly, and then I'm going to show you the plt tables, right? To get the plt tables uh, let me get, is to is to call the object dump with minus d option i'm going to do that and if you go 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 it'll be some while to see all the plt functions right there so this is a very key for you to notice all right um, Okay, this is the one you have to remember. So this is the this is the all these four entries are PLT table entries. Okay, so if you see our P is going to come here and call that uh, GOT that's address in the GOT, uh, but GOT doesn't have the print of function, so it's going to call. It's going to come back. It's going to say the G the dynamic loader is here, right here. So we need to get here from here. Okay. So the GOT table has nothing. So it's going to come here and it's going to come here to the next instruction. Next instruction is jump to C4. Jump to C4 is here and uh, it's going to do some bookkeeping and call your dynamic loader. The dynamic loader will find the library address and go to GOT table here and replace that for you. So we're going to see all that magic getting done in this video, okay? So, uh, like I said, you don't need assembly language uh, knowledge. You just write it, write it along. Okay, uh, just grasp as much as you can. All right. Okay. So SI, and is going to go there. SI. So it's going to come to the PLT table. So, like I said, PLT is right here. F four, right? F four. And uh, so we have F4, and uh, the one second. All right. So the uh, let's let's see where the PLT tables are. Right. So it's going to come to the GOT at nine six six C. I'm just mentioning that. Okay. The GOT table is nine six six C. Nine six six C. So this basically says go back to your uh, next next instruction because it doesn't have the uh, the print of uh. so here um, it came back to f4 right f4 I'll show you here f4 is here um, if you see that x by x just print it out. Is going to say go back to the instruction says go back to f f four that's what we f a that's what we have all right and uh, the uh, s i printer and is uh, at next instructions f f f f says go to a uh, a to c four a to c four is right here c four and c a so we need to see what this guy is all about. We are here, right? So this is the dynamic loader address, okay? That's the dynamic, that's GOT, uh, one second. Uh, all right. And uh, the uh, let's see what that guy is. 
dynamic loader okay so that basically what we're talking here is the address of the dynamic loader so now if you continue you are in now dynamic load you see that, that is getting loaded so i'm going to put a breakpoint um, printf and i'm going to continue okay so continue when i continue it's going to put at the break and uh, disassemble printf function function this is the printf function uh, address we have so uh, it found and is going to execute the next instruction okay but now it has the address let's go back and see what this guy has now this is where it's supposed to load the printf right so x by x and if you see this guy will have the address see that 84910 is the print address of the printf the dynamic loader found that for you that is the address of printf and uh, and uh, the right so if you continue now keep continuing now it's doing see that f4 f4 is this guy right it's, it's coming the second time it's coming the second time now right and continue it found instead of loading the dynamic loader it's calling the dan the lipsy function directly because i have the address now right so that is how the dynamic loader works right first time when we did first time when we did um we call the dynamic loader but second time we didn't call the dynamic loader we went directly to the printf function right so thank you